consider the sun located at the point s and a planet is moving around the sun in an elliptical orbit let's call that planet as p every planet revolves around the sun in an elliptical orbit with sun located at one of the foci let us consider sun is now at this focus s and if you join s and p the vector let that be that vector be r let us call that vector as r if, if you consider s as origin then the p, p will be the uh, sp will be the position vector of that planet after some time let the planet be at a new position called q let us assume that this pq is very small pq is very small pq let's call that as delta r so that the position vector from uh, s to q that is that is this one sq is not very different from sp let's call that as or let's just call that as r r dash r dash but there is only a slight difference between r and r dash because delta r is very small now what about the area area covered by this this vector r or the area covered by the radius vector we have for any triangle uh, we considering the sides of the triangle as vectors we have area delta a or well, let's write area delta a will be half the cross product of the adjacent sides that is adjacent let's take the adjacent side as sp and pq that is r cross delta r r cross delta r that will be our area but you know the planet is moving with a linear velocity v from p to q and if let delta t be the time taken by the planet to move from p to q then we have the displacement delta r will be velocity into time velocity times time will be the displacement so here you can write half r cross instead of delta r you can write v cross also sorry v delta t or you can take this delta t to the left that is delta a by delta t will be half r cross v now we have the momentum p if p stands vector p stands for momentum then momentum is equal to mass of the planet times its velocity let m be the mass of the planet m mass of the planet and therefore vector v will be p divided by m so you can plug in the value of v in here therefore delta a by delta t is equal to half r cross p divided by m where m is a scalar quantity so you can take this m and write it along to that is delta a by delta t is equal to 1 by 2 m r cross p but you know r cross p is is the vector called the angular momentum it is called the moment of momentum that is r cross p is equal to L, the angular momentum so delta a by delta t delta a divided by delta t is equal to 1 by 2 m l clear
or you can write this as delta a by delta t is equal to l divided by 2m. Now let's call this as equation number 1. Here let us consider the elliptical part again. Here the planet moves here the planet moves only due to the gravitational force of attraction between the sun and the planet. There is no other external force, force involved in here. So there is no external torque acting in here. But you know, but we have torque is equal to rate of change of angular momentum. But if there is, if there is no external force acting in here, we have torque is equal to external torque remains zero. That is dl by dt is equal to, since this is zero, dl by dt equal to zero implies dl equal to zero. That is dt into zero is again zero. Which means there is no change in l. dl means change in l. No change in l means l equal to a constant. That's actually a principle called the law of conservation of momentum, the angular momentum that is in the absence of an external torque, the angular, remain, the angular momentum remains constant. So this one is constant. Now let's look at the equation number one. We have delta A by delta T. We already know mass of the, mass of the planet does not change us with its motion. So mass remains constant and angular momentum is also constant, which means delta A by delta T is a constant. That is the aerial, this delta A by delta T is called the aerial velocity. Aerial velocity. That is, that is, this, this is called the Kepler's second law of planetary motion which means that a planet sweep, sweeps equal areas in equal intervals of time or the, the radius vector of a planet revolving around the sun sweeps equal areas in equal intervals of time that is delta a by delta t remains constant. 